December 14th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Proverbs chapter 13 from the Old Testament. A wise son accepts his father's discipline, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. From the fruit of his speech a person eats good things, but the faithless desire the fruit of violence. The one who guards his words guards his life, but whoever is talkative will come to ruin. The appetite of the sluggard craves but gets nothing, but the desire of the diligent will be abundantly satisfied. The righteous person hates anything false, but the wicked person acts in shameful disgrace. Righteousness guards the one who lives with integrity, but wickedness overthrows the sinner. There is one who pretends to be rich and yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor and yet possesses great wealth. The ransom of a person's life is his wealth, but the poor person hears no threat. The light of the righteous shines brightly, but the lamp of the wicked goes out. With pride comes only contention, but wisdom is with the well-advised. Wealth gained quickly will dwindle away, but the one who gathers it little by little will become rich. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is like a tree of life. The one who despises instruction will pay the penalty, but whoever esteems instruction will be rewarded. Instruction from the wise is like a life-giving fountain to turn a person from deadly snares. Keen insights win favor, but the conduct of the unfaithful is harsh. Every shrewd person acts with knowledge, but a fool displays his folly. An unreliable messenger falls into trouble, but a faithful envoy brings healing. The one who neglects discipline ends up in poverty and shame, but the one who accepts reproof is honored. A desire fulfilled is sweet to the soul, but fools abhor turning away from evil. The one who associates with the wise grows wise, but a companion of fools suffers harm. Calamity pursues sinners, but prosperity rewards the righteous. A benevolent person leaves an inheritance for his grandchildren, but the wealth of a sinner is stored up for the righteous. There is abundant food in the field of the poor, but it is swept away by injustice. The one who spares his rod hates his child, but the one who loves his child is diligent in disciplining him. The righteous has enough food to satisfy his appetite, but the belly of the wicked lacks food. God in verse 9 where it says the light of the righteous shines brightly, but the lamp of the wicked goes out. I had a person in a Christian forum who is a Christian ask that question, uh, the difference between light and the lamp. And you talk about the light and the lamp a, a lot of places in the Bible. And I love the analogy of the light and the lamp because the light is what you put in us and it shines out. It's it's our life reflecting your glory, um, showing other people love, but not our own love. The love that you have put inside of us, the love that you have shown us. And then the lamp is the pathway that you show us, that you light up this pathway that we can follow. When we get off track, we end up in the darkness but you are this lamp that we can easily follow and see our path. The light of the righteous shines brightly, but the lamp of the wicked goes out. Now this particular section of Proverbs is also talking about understanding discipline and that discipline that is healing and growing and a blessing comes from love. You discipline us because you love us. A parent disciplines their child because they love them. And physical discipline should only come from love. It should never come from violence. I should state that in there. But if we aren't seeking constantly knowledge, if we're not seeking to better ourselves by reading your word, by talking to you constantly throughout the day, by being in small groups with other other Christians and learning from them, by participating in ministries, um, different things in the church, whatever it may be that you've called us to do, then of course our lamp will go out because we will be in the dark. Our wickedness will come from lack of wisdom. And you talk about that a lot in Proverbs, as well as other places. Psalm 119 
Verse 105 talks about your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. So again, that guidance of you showing us what that path looks like and us not ending up in the dark off of that path. Amy Grant has a beautiful song about this uh, called Thy Word. And it goes, when I feel afraid and I think I've lost my way, still you're there right beside me. Nothing will I fear as long as you are near. Please be near me to the end. The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will not forget your love for me and yet my heart forever is wondering. Jesus, be my guide and hold me to your side and I will love you to the end. Nothing will I fear as long as you are near. Please be near me to the end. A light unto my path, a light unto my path. God, thank you for showing us the way. Thank you for your word that shows us the way. The Holy Spirit that you put inside of us who shows us the way. This amazing opportunity to have communication with, uh, with you and us that shows us the way by putting people in our life to help show us the way. You are the one true way. Thank you for being the light in my life, God. I pray all this in your son's name. Amen.